The Surveyor Model 2 was a spacecraft developed by NASA as part of the Surveyor program, which aimed to explore the Moon and gather data to help plan future human missions. The Model 2 was the second spacecraft in the Surveyor program, following the Model 1 which was designed as a test vehicle. The Model 2 was the first spacecraft in the Surveyor program to successfully land on the Moon. The Surveyor Model 2 was launched on September 20, 1966, atop an Atlas Centaur rocket. It was designed to be able to land on the moon autonomously, without any input from ground controllers. To achieve this, it was equipped with a new digital computer system, which used a series of sensors and a pre-programmed set of instructions to control the spacecraft's descent. The Surveyor Model 2 was also designed to be able to survive the harsh conditions on the moon's surface. It had a sturdy, cone-shaped structure made of aluminum, which was able to withstand the extreme temperatures and vacuum of space. It was also equipped with a set of landing gear, which allowed it to safely touch down on the moon's surface. The Model 2 was equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, which were designed to gather data about the moon's surface and environment. These included a television camera, which was able to transmit live images of the moon's surface back to Earth, and a set of soil mechanics and surface sensors, which were able to measure the properties of the lunar regolith. One of the main goals of the Surveyor program was to test the feasibility of a manned landing on the moon. To this end, the Surveyor Model 2 was designed to test the soil mechanics of the lunar regolith, in order to determine whether it would be safe for a human spacecraft to land on. The spacecraft was able to perform a series of soil mechanics tests, which showed that the regolith was stable and able to support a manned landing. The Surveyor Model 2 also provided valuable data about the Moon's environment. It was able to measure the temperature and pressure on the Moon's surface, as well as the radiation levels. This data was important for planning future missions to the Moon, as it helped scientists understand the challenges that human explorers would face. The Surveyor Model 2 was able to operate on the Moon's surface for a total of 65 hours, during which time it performed a variety of experiments and tests. It was able to transmit a total of 10,000 images back to Earth, which provided scientists with a wealth of information about the Moon's surface. The Surveyor Model 2 was not designed to be a long-term mission, and it was ultimately shut down on November 24, 1966, after completing its mission. However, its legacy lived on in the data it provided, which helped pave the way for future missions to the Moon. The success of the Surveyor program was a significant achievement for NASA and the United States. It demonstrated the country's technological prowess and showed that it was possible to explore the Moon and other celestial bodies. The data gathered by the Surveyor Model 2 was also important for planning future missions, including the Apollo program, which ultimately put humans on the Moon. Today, the Surveyor Model 2 is remembered as a groundbreaking achievement in the history of space exploration. It paved the way for future missions to the Moon and provided scientists with a wealth of data about our nearest neighbor in space. Its legacy continues to inspire scientists and engineers today, as we continue to explore the wonders of the universe. The Surveyor Model 2 was not without its challenges, however. The spacecraft experienced some technical difficulties during its descent and landing, which caused it to overshoot its intended landing site. However, the spacecraft was able to correct its course and land safely, demonstrating the effectiveness of its autonomous landing system. One of the most significant contributions of the Surveyor Model 2 was its television camera, which provided live images of the Moon's surface back to Earth. This was the first time that humans had seen such detailed images of the Moon, and it provided a new perspective on the lunar environment. The images captured by the camera were also important for planning future missions, as they provided valuable information about potential landing sites and hazards, and pushed the boundaries of what was possible. The program helped to inspire a generation of scientists and engineers, many of whom went on to work on future space missions. The Surveyor program was also a significant achievement in the context of the Cold War. The program demonstrated American technological superiority over the Soviet Union, which was engaged in a similar space race at the time. The success of the Surveyor program helped to solidify America's reputation as a leader in space exploration and technology. In conclusion, the Surveyor Model 2 was a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. It demonstrated the feasibility of a manned landing on the Moon and provided valuable data about the lunar environment. The spacecraft's autonomous landing system and digital computer paved the way for future developments in robotics and automation. The legacy of the Surveyor program lives on today in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and in the achievements of the scientists and engineers who worked on the program. The Surveyor program was not only a technical achievement but also a symbol of American ingenuity and determination, which helped to inspire a generation of scientists and engineers.
The Surveyor Model 2 also provided important information about the composition of the Moon's surface. The spacecraft's alpha particle backscattering spectrometer was able to measure the concentrations of various elements on the Moon, providing valuable data about the Moon's geology and history. This data was used to plan future missions and provided insight into the formation of the Moon and its relationship with Earth. The Surveyor Model 2 also helped to advance the field of robotics and automation. Its autonomous landing system and digital computer were cutting-edge technologies at the time, and they paved the way for future developments in robotics and artificial intelligence. Today, these technologies are widely used in a variety of applications, from self-driving cars to industrial automation. The success of the Surveyor program had a significant impact on public opinion and support for the space program. The program demonstrated that space exploration was not only possible but also achievable within a relatively short time frame. This helped to galvanize public support for the Apollo program, which ultimately put humans on the moon. The Surveyor Model 2 was not the only spacecraft in the Surveyor program, but it was one of the most important. The program ultimately consisted of seven spacecraft, all of which were designed to explore the moon and gather data. The data gathered by the Surveyor program was used to plan future missions, including the Apollo program in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The legacy of the Surveyor Model 2 lives on today in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is currently orbiting the moon and gathering data about its surface and environment. The LRO has been able to build on the data gathered by the Surveyor program, providing even more detailed information about the moon's surface and geology. The Surveyor program was not only a technical achievement but also a symbol of American ingenuity and determination. It demonstrated the country's ability to achieve ambitious goals. The Surveyor Model 2 was also notable for its longevity. The spacecraft continued to operate and transmit data for over two years, far surpassing its original design life of 90 days. This demonstrated the robustness and reliability of the spacecraft's design and allowed scientists to gather even more data about the Moon's environment. The success of the Surveyor program also helped to advance the field of space science. The data gathered by the Surveyor spacecraft was used to study the Moon's formation and evolution, providing insights into the early history of the solar system. This data was also used to develop new theories about the origins of the Moon and its relationship with Earth. The Surveyor program was also an important stepping stone on the path to human exploration of the Moon. The data gathered by the spacecraft provided valuable information about potential landing sites and hazards, helping to lay the groundwork for the Apollo program. The Surveyor program also demonstrated the feasibility of a soft landing on the Moon, which was a critical step in preparing for a manned mission. The Surveyor Model 2 was not without its risks. Landing on the Moon is a complex and challenging task, and there were many technical hurdles that had to be overcome. However, the success of the spacecraft demonstrated the effectiveness of its design and provided valuable data about the lunar environment. The Surveyor program was also notable for its international impact. The data gathered by the spacecraft was shared with scientists around the world, contributing to a global understanding of the Moon and its history. The program also helped to foster international collaboration and cooperation in the field of space science. The Surveyor Model 2 was a critical milestone in the history of space exploration. The spacecraft demonstrated the feasibility of a soft landing on the Moon and provided valuable data about the lunar environment. Its television camera provided the first detailed images of the Moon's surface, inspiring a new generation of scientists and engineers. The legacy of the Surveyor program lives on today in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and in the achievements of the scientists and engineers who worked on the program. The success of the Surveyor program was not only a technical achievement but also a cultural milestone. The program demonstrated America's ability to achieve ambitious goals and push the boundaries of what was possible. It helped to inspire a generation of scientists and engineers and galvanized public support for the space program. In summary, the Surveyor Model 2 was a critical component of the Surveyor program and a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. Its success paved the way for future missions to the Moon and provided valuable data about the lunar environment. The legacy of the Surveyor program lives on today in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and in the achievements of the scientists and engineers who worked on the program. The program demonstrated America's technological prowess and inspired a new generation of space explorers. One of the main goals of the Surveyor program was to gather information that would be useful for future manned missions to the Moon. The data gathered by the Surveyor Model 2 helped to identify potential landing sites for future missions, as well as hazards that would need to be avoided. The success of the Surveyor program also helped to build confidence in the ability of NASA to achieve ambitious goals. 
The program demonstrated that it was possible to land spacecraft on the moon and gather valuable data about its environment. This laid the groundwork for the Apollo program, which would ultimately achieve the goal of landing humans on the moon. The Surveyor program was also significant for its use of television cameras to provide detailed images of the lunar surface. These images provided scientists with a wealth of information about the moon's geology and helped to inspire a new generation of space enthusiasts. The Surveyor Model 2 was not the only spacecraft in the Surveyor program, but it was the most successful. The program ultimately consisted of seven spacecraft, all of which were designed to land on the moon and gather data about its environment. While some of the later spacecraft encountered technical difficulties, the Surveyor program as a whole was considered a major success. The Surveyor program was also notable for its use of new technology. The spacecraft were equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and seismometers. These instruments provided scientists with valuable data about the Moon's environment and helped to advance the field of space science. The Surveyor Model 2 was not the first spacecraft to land on the Moon, but it was the first to do so successfully. The Soviet Union had previously landed a spacecraft on the Moon, but their spacecraft, Luna 9, was unable to transmit data back to Earth. The Surveyor Model 2, on the other hand, was able to transmit data back to Earth for over two years, providing valuable information about the lunar environment. The success of the Surveyor program was not without controversy. Some critics argued that the program was a waste of resources and that the money would be better spent on social programs or scientific research on Earth. However, the program was ultimately deemed a success and helped to pave the way for future space exploration missions. The Surveyor program was also significant for its impact on the public imagination. The images of the Moon's surface provided by the spacecraft captured the public's imagination and helped to inspire a new generation of space enthusiasts. The program helped to create a sense of national pride and inspired Americans to dream of ambitious goals. In conclusion, the Surveyor Model 2 was a critical milestone in the history of space exploration. The spacecraft demonstrated the feasibility of a soft landing on the moon and provided valuable data about the lunar environment. Its success helped to build confidence in the ability of NASA to achieve ambitious goals and laid the groundwork for the Apollo program. The legacy of the Surveyor program lives on today in the achievements of the scientists and engineers who worked on the program, and in the ongoing exploration of the moon and other celestial bodies.